Ok, c'est ça, Vivian. We learned that uh, even in our business, we should also acknowledge God. We also uh, believe that God sees everything that we do. So we're supposed to run that business the way to glorify God. So our business, we must do is ask unto the Lord. Our summary last week says, for a business to thrive, God has to be fully involved. So our business cannot thrive without God. We are not just to survive in our business. We should not only do business for surviving, but we are also to thrive in our business as business owners. And for us to thrive, that means we need the help, the presence of God in our business. So our conclusion also say Christian need to take the lead and build the next Amazon. So this is a clarion call on to us as believers. We are to take over the Amazon, the Google, Facebook, and Microsoft. So the Lord will help us to take over as God's children in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a season and a time to take over because the art belongs to the Lord and his fullness thereof. It belongs to our Father. I pray that the Lord will help us to take over in the body of Christ in Jesus' name. Our Bible passage today is Genesis 30, 25 to 34. Genesis 30, 25 to 34. Brother Bade, you help us to read this. Genesis 30, 35, 25 to 34. 30, 25 to 34. Genesis 30. Okay. Yes. Genesis 30, 25 to 34. And it, came, okay. and it came to pass when Rachel had born Joseph that because that Jacob said unto Laban, Send me away that I may go unto my own place, unto my country. Give me my wives and my children, for whom I have served thee, and let me go, for thou knowest my service, which I have done thee. And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thine eyes, tarry for, I have learned by experience that the Lord hath blessed me for thy sake. And he said, Appoint me thy wages, and I will give it. And he said unto him, Thou knowest how I have served thee, and how thy cattle was with me. They are different. They are different. Let's see your own For it was little which thou hast before I came, and it is now increased unto a multitude. And the Lord hath blessed thee since my coming. And now when shall I provide for mine own house also? Hallelujah. Our topic this morning is Christianity and governance. Christianity and governance. No, but that is um, uh, manual. That is Sunday school teacher manual also. So sorry, we're looking at Christianity and governance today. Christianity and governance. Our opening prayer says, Father, please bless 
your children with divine courage to be involved in governance at all levels. We're looking at Christianity and governance, and our prayer this morning is that the Lord will help us as his children to be involved in governance at all levels, divine courage. We receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brother, please, you have to read Romans 13, 1 to 6. That's a Bible passage for Christianity and governance. Romans 13, 1 to 6. Let every soul be subject unto you. Pardon me. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. But rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he bearest not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. So the Lord will help us in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Revelation 5.10. Revelation 5.10, can we take it together? And has made us unto our, king, unto our God kings and priests. And we shall reign here on earth. Revelation 5, 10. Let's take it again. And has made us unto our God, kings and priests. And we shall reign on the earth. Revelation 5, 10. Let's see if we can try it without our manual. And he has made us kings unto himself. And we shall reign. Okay. And he has made us unto our God, kings and priests. Let's take it again. And he has made us unto our God, kings and priests. And you shall reign here on earth. Revelation 5.10. Let's take it again. And he has made us unto our God, priests and kings, kings and priests. And we shall reign here on earth. And has made us unto our God, kings and priests and we shall reign here on earth. So we can see here that as believers, our reigning is not in heaven. We're not to go and reign in heaven. We're going to reign with Jesus, definitely in heaven, by the special grace of God. But we are expected to do what? To also reign here on earth. And that we can only do by the grace of God. If you look at the book of, um, let's look at the book of Romans. 517, I'm not sure, 517 or 617. Let's look at 517 first. Romans 517. Okay, this is it. For if by one's man's offense, death reigned by one. So that's because of Adam's sin. Death reigned. Much more. They which receive, that is you and I, is not led for you and I to know that we have received abundance of grace because of the abundance of grace that you have received, that I have received, and the gift of righteousness. It shows us again that righteousness is a gift. It's a gift. All we have to do is to receive and believe that now that I'm now a child of God, I'm now a born-again Christian, I don't have anything to do with death. Death can no longer reign in my life because I've been transformed from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dead son. So now, by the abundance of grace that I've received, that you have received, by the gift of righteousness, we shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. That is the only means that we can reign in life. It's not by our self-effort. It's not by our righteousness, self-righteousness. But by the gift of righteousness, by the finished work 
of Christ, depending on what Christ has done, then we can reign on hearts. Receiving that gift of abundance of grace, through the abundance of grace that we have received, we are expected to reign here on earth. We're going to reign with our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven by God's grace, but we have been called to reign here on earth as God's children. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus Christ's mighty name. So the opinion had by some Christians that if they were going to follow Christ, they must be quiet and withdraw from things happening on earth. That is it. Things happening on earth is in heaven. We want to go and reign. We must reign here. Also, on earth, and we have seen it's not by ourselves. It's not, by, it's not what we can do on our own. But we can hold on to the word of God that says, I receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. Then I will reign in life to Christ Jesus. I will reign. You will reign. So they must, they decided to be quiet and withdraw from the things that are happening here on earth. And we have seen that the devil has even used this to deceive a lot of people. We know a lot of people that are brilliant as they were growing up. They, they entered university and the devil will tell them, oh, why are you reading? Ah, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Stop reading. I've seen people that were even teaching us when we were young. They are very vibrant, but the devil deceived them. Oh, why are you reading? Jesus is coming back. Somebody that is a medical student, because of that, Jesus is coming back. Stop going to lecture. Stop reading because the devil has deceived them. So because so we see here is still happening even in all aspects, in politics. The devil deceived them. And today, our Lord Jesus has not yet come. But such a person has to go back and do all that he has missed again. We are to live our life as if Jesus is coming today. But according to that Bible passage you have read, we are also expected to reign here on earth. But devil deceives believers, makes us to know, believe that we don't have anything to do with the things that is going on here. That is in heaven, we are expected to reign. But we can see according to our memory verse, we are expected to reign here on earth. And that we can do through the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness that we have received from our Lord Jesus Christ. This negates the will of God as spelled out in the scripture as a matter of fact. Christ has called believers unto a life of influence, control, and dominion. And that is the truth. If we look again at our Bible, if we open our Bible to the book of Genesis 1.28. Let's see, maybe it's Genesis 128. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have what? Dominion over the sea, over the fish of the sea, and over the fur of the hair, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, over all the earth. So why should believer says is in heaven? We want to go and reign. We're going to reign here on earth. We have seen it's not by our power, it's not by strength, it's not by mind, but through the abundance of grace, through the finished work of Christ, through the accomplished work of Christ, all we have to do is to hold on, to labor, to enter into that which Christ has finished for us. And we are called onto a life of influence. And that is why, just like our last week conclusion says, that we should take over in the place of Alma's sin. Google, Facebook, and Microsoft. We should not realize as believers, as believers. I can remember I was discussing with somebody, and I said, oh, God has hidden treasure, hidden treasure, secret things in, dark, in the darkness. God said it belongs to him, hidden treasures that he will reveal to you. I said to the person, the person I said, ah, am I sure that, that there's still some hidden things? I said, yes. Who told you that Facebook have seen everything? Who told you that Amazon have seen everything? Just hold on to God. Pray, make requests. Father, I want to experience this. So we are called to a life of dominion. We are called to a life of reigning in Christ. Let's look at the book of Psalm 8. Says, Psalm 8 says, Sister Vivian, I look at read Psalm 8. Says, Sister Sherry, Matthew 5. 15 to 16. Psalm 8, 6. Psalm 
Psalm 80 says, Thou made us seem to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. So, we can see here, it's not by ourselves, it's not by our strength. Everything has been put under our feet. Under our feet, because if we, let's read Matthew 5, 15 to 16, before I call the next Bible passage. Matthew, Matthew 5, 15 to 16. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So this is what we have been called to. We are to be light bearers. We are to be ambassador of Christ. Wherever we find ourselves, even in the polities, in, in governance. And now we are looking at it, Christianity and governance. So even as we engage in it as believers, we are to do so unto the Lord. We are to do so unto the Lord. Lord we can see everything here, that everything has been put under our feet. If you look at the book of Ephesians, Ephesians 2, 6. Let's look at Ephesians 2, 6. I think Ephesians 2, 6. It says here, and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, he has made us sit together in heavenly places. And in that heavenly places, in Christ, Christ is our head, is the head of the body. Everything is under the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you look at the book of Ephesians 1, 19, too. If you look at the book of Ephesians 1, 19. So, in the consciousness of whom we are, in the consciousness of whom and what is the ascending greatness of his power towards all who believe according to the working of his mighty power? 20. 20. 20. Which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. And we are in Christ in that heavenly places. 21. Far above all principality and power and mind and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. So as believer, we have and have put all things under his feet because all things are under Christ's feet. All things are under our feet because we are seated with Christ in that heavenly place. He has raised up us. To the same level where he is, he raised up us because he loved us so much. And believers, we have to walk in the consciousness of our identity in Christ and take charge, take dominion, and know that we are expected to rule here on earth, on earth, not until where we get to heaven. The Lord will help us to have dominion in all aspects of life, in, our, in the government. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the Amazon, in Google, in Facebook, and in Microsoft, in the places that matters on earth, in the mighty name of Jesus. The body of Christ will take over, we will be in church, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we're looking at the view of God on governance, the view of God on governance. Brother Christian, help us to read Psalm 72, verse 4 and 13. First Timothy, brother Vincent, First Timothy 2, 2, brother Vincent, help us read that one. Sister Victorine, Psalm 22, 28. Psalm 22, okay, your home. Psalm 72, 4 and 13. Sister Vivian, Daniel 4, 34. Sister Sherry, Genesis 1, 26. Psalm 72, verse 4. He will bring justice to the poor of the people. He will serve the children of the needy and break in pieces the oppressor. Okay. Sir. Okay, 13. He will spare the poor and needy and will serve the soul, the souls of the needy. Okay, sir. So from that place, what is this? The view of God on governance the view of God that's what we're looking at yes, God is still interested in those uh, rejected 
of the society, the downtrodden, those who uh, have been uh, thrown aside, people who are considered worthless or helpless, God is still interested in their defense. So God is in interested. Course. He's interested in the well-being of everybody. He is interested in the well-being of everybody. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Okay, Sister yeah. Victoria, help us to read Psalm 22, 28. Psalm 22, 28 says, For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is the governor among the nations. So from that place, what can you say? God is the joy, the God is the only one who owns the whole universe. So that shows as believers, this should be our mindset when we are going into governance. It's not only on when we become the um, the uh, the president of Nigeria or the president or governor of a state, but anywhere we have opportunity of leading, we should know that God is the one that put us there. And everything we must do as unto the Lord. We must govern as unto the Lord. The Lord will help us in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And so, and that is why we need believers to be there in the place of authority. So that when believer knows that they have this kind of mindset, knowing that it is God that put them there. It is God that is the governor of nations. Just like we have read. Then we'll we will fear the Lord. We will put God first. The Lord will help us in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Genesis 1, 26. Sister Vivian, Genesis 1, 26. No, Daniel. Okay, Daniel 4, 34. Okay. Genesis 1, 26. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the castle, and over all the health, and over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the heads. So, it's still showing us dominion. God gave us dominion. So, it is, it, it is devil that is deceiving believers that we should not have dominion. Oh, what will be will be. Oh, Sarah, Sarah. It is not our own testimony as believers. We are to stand up and take our place, hold on to the word of God in the place of prayer, even as we do our work, depending on what Christ has done for us. So it is time for us to arise and take action as believers and know that we are called to a life of dominion. We're not called to a life of mediocrity as believers, but we're, we're called to a life of dominion. The Lord will help us in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Daniel 4.34. That's Sister Vivian, Daniel 4.34. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes unto heaven, and my understanding returned unto me. And I blessed the Most High, and I praised and honored him that liveth forever whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. Okay, from that place, what can you say, ma'am? That God's kingdom is gener from generation to generation, and he has dominion so to God, everything. So God delegates power and authority to people and allow them to rule. So it's a privilege. It's a privilege that you, we are alive, you are, you are even ruling. Is a privilege. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. But a Christian, help us to read First Corinthians 1 12 28. Sister Vivian, Romans 12 8. Sister Victorine, Titus 1 5. Sister Shea, Exodus 18 21. Exodus 18 21. Exodus 18 21. First Corinthians 12 8 28. Okay, 1228. And God has appointed this in the church. First apostles, second prophets, third teachers. 
after that miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, administration, variety of tongues. Okay, so from that place, what can you say, sir? As you, as you garden the view of God on governance. Uh, there is a division of level for administrative convenience and for the uh, functioning, proper functioning of the church. God gave everyone, God uh, equipped the church in all the things the church needs to, so, to, to strive, to move on. So governance is also part of it. Let's look at Romans 12, 28 first. Romans 8, 12, 8. Sister Vivian, Romans 12, 8. Romans 12, 8 says, Or he that exalted on exaltation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy, with cheerfulness. Okay, so what can you say there? Uh, it means that whichever area that you are operating on, you should do it as unto the Lord. And so we are told also that governance is a manifestation of the gift of the Holy Spirit because according to that first Corinthians twelve twenty eight, we are told that it was given as opposed to some apostles and also governance was also part of it. So to govern right and to govern well, that means it cannot be done without yielding oneself to the Holy Spirit, without yielding, without spending time in the place of the word, in the place of prayer, yielding ourselves to the Holy Spirit. Okay, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So where we have found ourselves in Nigeria, we should not complain then. <laughs> It is well with us. We, yes. we, are not, we should pray. We are not to complain. It's only prayer. That's That's what we are, we are not to complain because if governance is a gift of Holy Spirit, and who are the people that are to, governing to govern rights. And that are governing us? Okay. So, Sir Vivian, are you they, have something to say. Are they having Holy Spirit? So, why are we. Sister Vivian, you have something to say. Or you have a question. Uh, is, uh, I just want to ask this question because if you find out that. Even on Facebook, if any pastor just raise anything that has to do with politician, politics and politicians, you just hear people attacking them. Go, face, uh, face the gospel. You are not called to come and discuss politics. So why is this so <laughs> in Nigeria? It is well. Okay, but have you sent a house contribution? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where I, okay, there's one I saw yesterday. This one was, uh, I don't even know the bishop he called himself. He said that, he said it was God that sent the Tinubu to Nigeria. There are many people now, many people, they now begin to insult him in what were the last years because, see, why, we, why, why, is it, why is it that we Christians, we are so divided? One, there was another person on Facebook that, that one even wrote about, about that, I was about to betray Tunubu. This is a he called himself a pastor. This person, and I said, see, those are the issues we are having when it comes to governance. We Christians, we are so divided in many in many aspects. But we see the unbeliever, they are so united. Now, if you go around the old street of Lagos, many places now you will see Tunubu picture everywhere, but you will never see I was about to picture because. We Christian, we don't want to get involved. We are trying to hide ourselves, drawing back. It is our time we get serious with this. I know that there is a serious challenge, a serious contest for the, what is it called, the soul of Nigeria between light and darkness. That's why we have to stand and say, okay, let us support our own. And put the way all this, uh, because people will say, when it comes to, say, let us to put a Christian there. We will now begin to go to the nomination. Let's talk about the nomination. Let's ensure that, provided the person is, we are seeing Christ in that person. We can, in, in any form we can, to support. I, as I mean, I am looking out for what they call people that say they are, they are team 
supporting your super job. I want to join them because I, I understand the what they call the importance now. So in, in contribution to Sister Vivian's question, I would say it's also a lie of the devil. It's a trick of the devil that will, that will tell people when a believer is saying, a believer is saying, oh, people should go and get their voters' card. There's nothing saying that. And vote for the right person. But not to the one that they are now saying, eh, maybe somebody is chosen. No. But there's nothing wrong when the pastor encourages believers, get your voters' card vote rightly. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's the lie of the devil that will say what our believers are looking for there. And that is what we are seeing here, that we are to reign here on earth. It's not in heaven we're going to be president. We can only be president and governor here on earth. So the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Sister Vivian. Anyway, uh, it has been said that believers, even that you said, they say you should not vote for, you should not vote party or you should not vote because of, with, uh, you should not vote with sentiment. If you know the person that you know that is qualified, that can deliver, even if it's not your, your party your pastor, member, even if it's not, does not belong to the same congregation, vote the person. Even me, I don't, if, in fact, if I would vote at all at all, <laughs> if I would vote at all at all, it I don't want where? to vote based on, because yes, even the so-called uh, believers, they have failed also. That's what I'm saying. They are that, that is what so, I said. If you don't, if you don't yield yourself, a believer that does not yield herself to the Holy Spirit, spending time with the Word of God and also in prayer, we need the help of God. So it's, it, we are all work in progress. That believer you are talking about is also work in progress. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Praise God. I think uh, this calls for a rethink for the Christian. Uh, Christendom. The truth is that we have done damage to ourselves and uh, have surrendered our future and our posterity to those who call the unbelievers. Did you see uh, pastors and other believers preaching against dominion, having control governance is wickedness then participating in wickedness by voting you are also an accomplice it's very unfortunate the issue is not in voting the issue is who are you to vote in among two devils you have no option but to choose one <laughs> and uh, you don't expect that yeah, one of the devils to do you did. any good you say, you go and pick your, who are you voting? You have two devils already. You have yeah, no option but to choose please, one. We don't want devils. That's why we are calling believers to, to rise up. We don't yes, want devils. it will take us uh, a very long grace. time. But <laughs> we still live in that pain. And uh, you see, it takes something. You need more energy to sustain the pain. But the reality is that it is not too late. Yes. But For we have to, to understand over. we've done so many damage. And we can encourage Believe from us. the grassroots yes. to take what we ignorantly so, lost to so the, the, the world. The Bible even says the righteous will fall seven times, but we'll rise up again. Yes, of course. There are processes. There are in politics, if you are not around there, it is more than what we are seeing. So when they have surrendered themselves with, with their own, with their carcass, now politics is not just every people, each within the party, they have groups, they have leaders. So if you have not been following up, you can't just come out and just spring up so it shows so you us, must take through a process it shows us too that as believers we have work to do it's not just talking that we, we should see that it's also a battle it's a warfare we can't just keep on complaining what are we doing on our knees are we praying are we interceding are we standing in the gap for the holy spirit to help us so it's not something that will just happen just like we have said that we have failed ourselves as believers yeah, so finally, i want to say it's good the holy spirit to help us but the Bible said that my people perish not because we don't have the Holy Spirit. 
Yes. Not because we are not filled in the spirit, but because we knowledge. lack knowledge. He said, my own people perish for lack of knowledge. So when we have the Holy Spirit and do not allow him to tell us all truth, the Bible says he will teach us all truths, but we tend to push him away from the realities. So the Lord help us. This is, it is really, um, what will I say is, it's something that is voluminous, or what will I say? It's so the Lord will help us. We really need the help of God. We need it's not something we can just do in a day, but the Lord will have mercy on us as a country in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where I we we Nigeria we are so specialized in this prayer, 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 prayer. God will help us, God will help us. I've told people, me, I've moved from the level, say, God will help us. When it comes to politics, when it comes to governance in Nigeria, and but you need I've that. moved we from need the, the aspect of say, God will help us. Like I said, if you have been praying, 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 you are not getting results. Sit down and ask yourself, what <laughs> am I doing wrong? Then, that means there's something you have not done right. So let's do the right thing. Let's find out what we have been doing wrong in Nigeria and begin to do the right thing. Brother Vincent, uh -huh. what, what are the things? Yes. Me, personally. Okay. If you interact with many people today, they will tell you that our vote don't count. One. Two. Some of them will tell you that I cannot come out to join Q, vote, this, that, that, that. I don't believe my results will not, will not, work, will not show up. Fine. As you see, and to, uh, the reason why all this is happening because minority votes, majority don't vote in Nigeria. If majority votes, the vote will count. But because of our, our politicians are new that they know that we are what they call many people don't come out to sacrifice when it comes to all this that we need to make. Now that they take us for granted, they say, okay, uh, since it's only people that will vote, let us allow it. Let us give them the access to vote. And then we can see manipulating when it comes to what, all those aspects. So, where are we going to change? Is it God that will vote for us? Is it God that will come and say, okay, is it God that will join the queue and vote for us? No. If you, okay, okay, for instance, in the last election, where this uh, super giant body, I never supported them. Because me, myself, I knew what is going to be involved. When it comes to, I say, until everything is reversed. Say okay, I was about to president. Bad advice. That's what I mean. But now, because of the fact that I know what Silver Joe is, I know what he can do. That's why me, I am personally campaigning for him and but I want I to vote for him. Okay, but the place of prayer cannot you can't that, whether you like it or not, you have to pray. That's what I want to emphasize. We have been praying, but yes. we have not been taking actions. Yes. So what is missing is not is not prayer, that it's not that yes. we need to stop praying. As yeah. we are praying. We take, take actions. Action. Actions in the place of putting out, like Brad Christian has been saying all this while. When you are from the grassroots, you start, you start positioning yourself in that place. And when it's time to vote, you go and vote. So th there are different actions that we need to take. So yes. the truth is we can't rule out the place of prayer. Yes. It's very vital. But we need to take actions. And if you, if you take actions even without prayer, it's still going to be failure. Because these be people, you don't know what they do behind. This unbeliever, they kill because of this. Why can't they say they've been killing and they have not yet they are not yet in power and stop killing? What? The unbelievers. And yes. You said in the meet when we are doing those meets, you said they don't kill that time. Who? Who says the manual? So? The manual says so. That not. No. The, uh, in the manual it was there that, that they was, don't kill. Ooh. Unbelievers. <laughs> anyway, Sha, according to the stories. So they do sacrifice. Okay, they okay, let's you but they carry out their own sacrifice. Our own is our own sacrifice is to wait upon the Lord. Pray. Because even if you take action without the help of God, is not going to yield efforts. So the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The Lord will help us. Ravi Saint, what do you want to say? 
let's go to the next outline. What do you want to say, brother? Okay. Okay. It is well with us in Jesus Christ's mighty name. So, it's an institution that is established by God. We should respect that. Governance. They're talking about governance. Governance is a call to service. We should see ourselves that way. I just like I said, it's not only when you are ruling Nigeria or you're a governor. Anywhere you are, governing is a call to service. You have to serve. So governance is a ministry. Why those in government should re be regarded as what? Ministers of God. So they are even, they are ministers of God. They are representatives of God as they are there. But it is lacking in our society because the people that are there, it is well with us. And that is why believers need to get there. That while we are there, we are representative of Christ. We are Christ ambassadors. But an unbeliever will not know that. An unbeliever will not see his or herself as an ambassador of Christ. And just like um, Sister Vivian Bravi said, I've been saying that even the so called Christians are failed. So it is not just Christian with mouth. We must have a relationship with God. We must know all this that we are what? Ministers of God. We are Christ ambassadors. And God is going to, if we're going to give an account one day for all this opportunity that God has given us. So anybody that is going there, and that is why we need to pray. And thus we cannot rule out the place of prayer. Because anybody that is even going there, the devil does not want the person to do anything good. The, person, the devil is behind any, any place of authority in any country. The devil does not want anything good for anybody. And that is why we need to pray for them. Even as they are believers, that the Lord will help them. The Lord will help them to rule in line according to the word of God. And that is why God told us we should pray for those that are in our authority, those that are in governance. It's not for us to complain and say they are faders, they are believers. Oh, they are faders. Fine. They are faders, but our duty is to pray for them, that the Lord will help them. They will turn a new leaf as believers and lead us right. So the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Let's quickly look at our lesson outline too. Why Christians should be involved in governance. Why we should be involved in governance. We have been making, we have been talking about Genesis 126. God has called us to dominion. Just like Brother Christian said, some people... And it's still a, a, a lie of the devil that will say, why should believers be in authority? Why should believers um, dominate? Just like I said, the devil will tell a believer, why are you reading to be a medical doctor? Why are you reading? Jesus is coming. Stop going to lecture. Stop going to school. The devil is a thief. He came to steal, steal and to destroy. That is what, he's, he's do, that is what he wants to do in any country in any nation. And so it's we believers that must take our stand. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Well, we say, and help us read Genesis 41, 46 to 55. Brother Shegun, Proverbs 14, 34. Brother Christian, Mark 6, 27. Sister Grace, Hebrews 13, 17. Sister Christian, um, Victorine, Proverbs 11, 10. Sister Vivian, Romans 13. Okay, we have read that already. Sister Vivian, post to read some Second Samuel 23, verse 3. Then Sister Shea, you Proverbs 22, 9. Okay, Sister Shea, you help us to read First Peter. First Peter 2, 13 to 14. First Peter 2, 13 to 14. Sister Vivian, Second Samuel 23. Verse 3. Genesis 41, 46 to 47. But have you saints? Genesis 41. Verse 46 to 47. Seven. Says, oh, 57, sorry. Wow, it's long. It's long. Ago. Okay. I read from NLT. Okay. Are you not there? I'm there. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, okay, just okay. You can just summarize it for us. It's what we are it all was, familiarized with. He was 30 years old when he began serving in the court of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. And when Joseph left Pharaoh, 
Pharaoh's presence, he inspected the entire land of Egypt as predicted for several years the, the land produced bumper crop during this year Joseph gathered all the crops grown in Egypt and stored the grain from the surrounding field in the city he piled up huge amounts of grain like sand in the seashore finally he stopped keeping record because there was too much to measure during this time, before the first of the famine, yes, two, two sons were born to Joseph and his wife, Asena, the daughter of Pharaoh. The okay, Brother Vincent, so what can you say from that place? Okay, why this, Christians should be in governance? Why Christians should be in governance? Because they have access to the Almighty God, the, the divine guidance from the Almighty God. Just as the, what they call Joseph was guided to live in the land of Egypt. So we need believers to be in the place of authority for positive and lasting change in Nigeria. Even all over the world, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Proverbs 14, 34. Brother Proverbs 14, 34. Proverbs 14, 34. Righteousness exalted the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So the Lord will have mercy upon us. Sin is what we must run away from as a nation. Mark 6, 27. Our leaders too, they should know that godliness is what the Lord expected from us. Proverbs 14, 34. Proverbs 14, 34. Okay. Mark 6, 27. What is reading Mark 6.27? For Christian. Mark 6.27. So he sent one of his bodyguards to the prison to cut off John's head and bring it to him. The soldiers killed John in the prison. So from that place, why do we need believers to be in government? Yes, uh, it is about, it's a, it's about two kingdoms contending for supremacy, that for is, that dominance. Is, yes, right. So Christian should begin to see that, that we are in battle. There are two kingdoms fighting to take charge, to take control of the resources and influence policies that will subdue all the other kingdom. So when we begin to reason it that way, we will not just I mean, pay uh, lip service to issues affecting surrounding us because it is about our own kingdom Christianity is a kingdom and every kingdom needs words, needs resources to strive to expand but when we surrender to the enemy they may come up to and ask you to close the church which is going on in Nigeria. Turkey was once, they say about 90% of Turkey we are predominantly Christians but the reverse is the case today because those generations first to stood up and the, today they have lost that place. So as Christians in Nigeria today, we will consider it that this is a battle between two kingdoms seeking for dominance and control. So and we should know we have a lot of work to do as believers because the Bible even told us that Satan is the prince of this world as a result of what happened at the fall. So we have a lot of work to do. He's contesting. He doesn't want anybody to, anybody that's a believer to get to that place of authority to make things right. He doesn't want it. So the Lord will help us in the body of Christ to be united, to, to, to let us see that Christ is our doctrine. So when Christ is our doctrine, we will not be, oh, this person does not belong to um, this person. But when we all focus on Christ and make Christ our doctrine, everybody we're working for the kingdom of God. So the Lord will help us to be united in the body of Christ, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. So 1 Peter 2, 13 to 14. Okay, Hebrews 13, 17, Sister Grace. 17. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they keep watch over your souls as those who will give an account, so that they can do this with joy and not with grief, 
for that will for that won't be unprofitable for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So from that place, what can you say? We need to pray for them. They need our prayer. Okay. Yes, so and that so, you can do the right thing. Okay. So the Lord will help us. We have to obey them. We should not say because um, they are doing things wrongly. Um, so the Lord will help us. If because believers, we hear what believers say, this one, that one. It is when the Bible says, okay, the righteous will fall, but we'll rise up again. The Lord will help us. Brother Christian, you want to say something? Uh, what I want to say, I think the, that particular scripture was, is referring to the body of Christ. He said, for they keep your souls. They watch over your souls. But it's not about Nigerian government. That's, I mean, the citizens have lost their life to life. There are killings and you ask me to obey them. That is, for me, it's not talking about Nigerian government. Because, rather, we should call for revolution if it involves Nigeria. Because... <laughs> They are not keeping us so. Where? They are making things it more is, difficult for us. It is where? And they are causing chaos here and there. Insecurity. So, <laughs> Security is of the, the Lord. That's why we have to pray. The and right thing, we have to pray for them. God, send well, down fire on them. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord have mercy on us. So it is where? It is Lord we help us. Okay, supported by Sister Vivian. Fire. Yeah. Yes. It's true. We call them fire. I want Brother Christian to lead a seven-day VG to bring fire. The calling of this fire. Them. So when are we starting? The calling uh, of this seven day is night VG. It's easier said than Sister Vivian. It's easier huh? said than done. No, this calling seven of day fire. Seven-day VG. When yeah. are we starting? Join, 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 join. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And something will happen. So that scripture, uh, that scripture, actually, is talking about you obeying still obeying them. When you do that, you are still submitting to God's ordinance that you should obey the authority, those that have authority over you. It's not talking about only the church. So those ones that have authority over you, you will still obey. So when you do that, it's not them, but you are still submitting yourself to God's ordinance. That's what it's talking about. Where have you said, do you still have anything to say? Oh, we should, let's go on. Okay, so please, let's go on. The next Bible passage. Let's see First Peter 2, 13 to 14. Okay, the same thing. Okay, so we are to submit. We are to submit. The Lord will help us. Proverbs 11 to 10. Proverbs 11, 10. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It says, when it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoiceth. And when the wicked perish it, there is shouting. So what can you say there? Why Christians should be involved in governance? Yes, because when the righteous, the, place is, the verse is really self-explanatory. It has already told us that. When, and that is why it's happening. Because the wicked is on the throne. That so is people why are people are perishing. People are crying. Yes, but when the righteous is on, on the throne, you see that people will rejoice. Things will get better. So we should continue to pray and... The Lord will help us. Yes. We need the help of God, the intervention of God. Because we have all said this. This has happened. Christians have done this. We are not even united. So the Lord will help us. The Lord will help us. So because if you see other people, now if it's one of them, they, will, they, are, they don't care. Yes, but we, it is well with us. This Christian you are saying that has disappointed you. How deep are they as a Christian? It is where we talk. How, 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 how deep are they as a believer that we are talking about? The Christian that still... Okay, Sister Vivian, you know them very well. The Christian that still ah, mingle with them Vivian are said those that compromise. Them. She said she knows them very well. They are the people that compromise. That ordinarily, they are not standing firm in the Lord. Those are the people that we see that they are still calling Christians. Huh? They are Those, they, they compromise. Sister Vivia knows them. They, they are bishops. Compromise. They are bishops. They what? compromise. Those that we are saying <laughs> Christian because they are born in a Christian family does not make them Christian. No, no, don't say it. It's better keep it. Keep it. Since you don't want to use mic, Sister Vivia, please. I hope you are not measuring anybody's name. Anything. Please. Uh -huh. A scenario.
show. Daddy say it for us. Okay, maybe they've off it. Sorry. I will respond to what you are saying. Um, I'm a government official and I know what happens in our quarters. Sometimes you approach probably a senior official for assistance probably a permanent secretary, and you'll be asked to put in a, what you want in writing. Do you know that the person may say, okay, assign another officer, okay, go and do this for this person. And that person that is asked to do something for you will either cut or not even do it, probably because you may not have access to that person again. You don't, you will not know what would have happened in that place. That uh, okay, this person promised to do something for a family, and something did not happen. That is what is happening in the government quarters. So you don't think that prior it was that man that uh, really failed. I have heard a lot about uh, about this person you are talking about. I have heard a lot about him. Ask uh, to Juni if he comes to the church. To ask from there, or if he doesn't know, the mother told us that this man has a school that uh, he is running free of charge for people who cannot afford to pay for school. Even before he became the commissioner for for, so he's been doing so many things before he came into politics. So don't think that uh, whatever happened over there must, uh, is entirely his fault. So that it's a, it is well with us. And we are all work in progress. Even as believers, we are all work in progress. We need the help of God. And that's why we must keep on praying for everybody, anybody that gets there. Because the devil is also contesting with their soul. He doesn't want them to do the right thing. So the Lord will help us in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Praise the Lord. I also Hallelujah. want to support what my husband just said. There was a day that one of, I want to see somebody just come to, to see my boss. And my boss in front of that person said, that, don't worry, that particular thing that we send Mrs. Shoban just to you to do it. Up to today, today, he's not even sent me to do anything. And that person will be looking at me and say, maybe I have collected that money, collected that something. So all these are boss or people that are on the top, they will be saying, ah, this, I will do this, I will do that. But if you go to them, they will not respond. So there is nothing we can do. People will not believe that you are the one. Maybe you have spent the money, maybe you have collected the money, you have done this, you have done that. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me now tell you what happened to me. Me. When I was at the friends, this training center where I am presently now, I've been there before. Then, the, this uh, Lieutenant General Dia, he has a son. The family, the, the mother lives very close to my house. The, uh, the mother of uh, General Dia. So, when I was looking for my school fees then. I went to the mother that he should help me talk to the son. But the first son was the one that attended to me. And he gave me a letter to take to Ogun State Governor that they should do something about my school fees because I am from Ogun State. Now, I went there on three occasions. On the third occasion, I was able to uh, come very close to the governor's office. I was sitting, I think, where the governor used to receive uh, visitors. Then the second speaker came to me. Meanwhile, I had been warned from Lagos that if the secretary should ask that you should give him this letter, don't give it to her. I said, yes, sir. When I got to the governor's place at the third occasion, Lagos to Abekuta, Lagos to Abekuta, the third time, the secretary came to me. He said, hey, please, what do you want? 
I said I was asked to deliver this letter to, to Mr. Governor. He said, okay. Then it was a military administrator. The woman said, okay. She went inside. She came back to me. She said, the governor said you should give me the letter. I said, okay. But I have been told that I should not give the letter to anybody but the governor. She said, the governor is looking at you from the, uh, what is this thing called, uh, this uh, monitor, that he's looking at you. He has seen you. He said you should give me the letter. And people who were there, well, they were testifying that the governor could be looking at me truly. There is this one popular woman that I've been seeing before I lost my sight. Um, ah, Madam Kofo. Madam Kofo was, she was a witness. So, I, I have the, so the people encouraged me that I should give, you, uh, give her the letter. I gave the letter to her. She came back in about a few minutes' time. She said I should follow her. I was so happy, thinking that she's taking me to the governor. Then she went inside, took me to one corner. She said, the governor said I should give you this, that he cannot do more than that. He gave me just my transport fare back to Lagos and asked me to sign. And I, I can't see what I am signing. You understand? So when I now came out, the woman... Okay. The, uh, and you, you signed, though, not knowing what you are signing. <laughs> it is where? Ah. I don't know, my shit, I don't. So when uh, it was already late in, at night, I begged Madame Kofu that where is she going to? She said she's coming back to Lagos. So she brought me to uh, Onipan. Then I, the woman asked me that, did the governor attend to you? I said, no. It was that woman that gave me some money and said that, that the governor said that is what she should give to me. That Tra she... Transportation money. Uh -huh. The woman said, yeah, Mobeo. The governor cannot do that to somebody that something has not happened to, not to talk of you that has a challenge. So don't always see, believe that whatever happens at government quarter, that, that's what the person at the top is doing. You know? Hallelujah. So the Lord will have mercy upon us. So individually, we call, we shout government. What are we ourselves? Lord, we have mercy upon us and help us. Brother Vicente, it's time to round off. What do you want to say? One minute. We are Pres President, I just want to add something in relation to the word that I have said. There was a case that happened in MFM that a woman who had a challenge went to, cried, he went to, she went to, she cried, what's it called, to the GO of MFM. And that, that man actually sent a check of 500,000 to that woman. But at the end of the day, So the wickedness, so only, it, the wickedness is not even people on top. He's is individually it. shouting, government, <laughs> government, believers. We are, that's why I said all of us, we are work in progress. We're just shouting, and maybe that man will be saying, eh, eh. <laughs> eh, we need to work on ourselves. So that's it. Eh, we need to work on ourselves. So they are working, all of us, they are working in progress. We are working on ourselves. The Lord will help us. So they all we have so season is happening even in the church. I'm much more outside. And at the end, we'll be shouting, government, leaders, when we ourselves, we need to do our part. The Lord will help us. Yes, sir. Amen. The thing is, even in church, even in this our redeem, almighty redeem, we the ties at this new auditorium. Eh? We are the one that laid the ties. Someone will come as a a pastor, he says he's the supervisor, collecting the supervisor money. The money we're supposed to take with our work that took people there. The man was the one taking it. More than half of those ties that was brought in were missing. That's why you still see those things. They know it's more than they are. Were missing. In so, this same pastor, pastor in reading. So we should, so we should, we should, we should stop calling government, then we should start calling individual. He's ourselves. He's ourselves. Sir Grace. 
Yes, yeah, so it's ourselves. We should stop calling governments. Calling it is we ourselves that we must change. The change begins from you, begins from me. We must change. Just like I said, we, I said we are working progress. Pastor said, I am. Know yourself that you are work on yourself. Work on yourself and do the right thing. So the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to know that everything we are doing, we are to do as unto the Lord. And we are to be Christ's ambassadors. We read it that we are the light of the world. So when we behave like that, we are not shining as light of the world. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. How many of us are glad to be in church today? Praise the Lord. I want us to welcome our neighbors. Welcome to the presence of God today. Welcome. It's another Gratitude Sunday. Let us welcome one another. Let us welcome one another. It's, it's a rainy day. Hallelujah. I have found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning stone. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. In sorrow, in sorrow is my comfort. In trouble is my stay. He tells me every care. to thee, O Lord, among the gods, who is like unto thee, for you are glorious in holiness and fearful in praises to we wonder who is like unto thee who is like unto thee who is like unto thee oh Lord among the gods among, among the gods, gods who is like unto thee for you are glorious in all Ready? 
Halleluja. Halleluja. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Name above all name, name above every other name. What, what can you do? What can you do?
are great. Oh, you are great. You are great. Everything written about you. What a mighty God! What, what a mighty God! We say, glory, 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 hallelujah! Everything written, everything written about you. Oh, you are great. You are great. Oh, you are great. You are great. Jesus, you are great. You are great. Oh, 
Blessed be the Lord. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigneth. What no man can do, Jehovah. What you can do, what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. begin to bless that Lord, that God, the excellent God, the omnipotent one. We have just said how excellent. Let us go ahead and give him praise. Father, your name is excellent. In all the heads, Father, we exalt you. If you want to if you want to say it in English, if you want to say it in your local dialect, in a way that you will on you that will bring even the, that will bring the depth, the understanding of that song, of that, of that word from the depth of your heart. How excellent is your name, oh God. Let us go ahead and exalt him. Father, your name is excellent. We exalt you, Lord. exalt your name, O God. Your name be thou exalted, O Lord, above all the earth, and let your glory be. 
above the earth. In the name of Jesus, Father, we exalt your name. I want us to go ahead and also thank God for this Sunday again, for making us to see even another Gratitude Sunday in the year 2022. If I'm not mistaken, the fourth Gratitude Sunday in this year. And the Lord has kept us even through the first, the second, the third, and even the fourth Gratitude Sunday. You made it possible for us to be here. Let us go ahead and give him praise. Father, thank you for the opportunity to see another Gratitude Sunday. Hail Anati in your presence. Lord, I say thank you. Let us go ahead and say, Father, thank you for this. Thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence, oh God. It's not by power. It's not by might. Lord, we are exalting you. Appreciating you, oh Lord, for what you have done in my life, oh God. I'm appreciating you and acknowledging your grace over my life. Thank you for my family. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for joining mercies, even, even through the past, from the, last, um, from the last service, even till now. Father, thank you because you kept us. Lord, even to see another Gratitude Sunday. We are grateful to you as individuals, as a church, as a family. We are grateful to you, Lord. Thank you for making us to see another Gratitude Sunday. Hail Anati. Lord, we exalt your name, O oh God. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. And also let us thank God even for past testimonies that God has granted unto us as a result of this of a service of such, of this of this of this type. Or for the gratitude service, thank God for past me, uh, testimonies that have that people have come here to give to appreciate the name of the Lord. Thank, let's thank Him because He is alone. Dawaduro, Kodawadurora is still at work. He is working. He is doing His wonders. Let us thank Him, Father. We thank You for past testimonies. Thank You for past deliverances. Thank You for how You have delivered us from. Thank You because of testimonies that are that are bound as a result of this gratitude Sunday, and because we know You are still going to do more. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. We are going to pray that, Lord, even as you have started with us today, Lord, come and manifest your power in our midst in the name of Jesus. Lord, manifest your power in our midst. Let us turn out to prayer that, Lord, as you have started with us, even from the beginning, even from the Sunday school, even till now, Lord, we pray that you manifest your presence, your power in our midst in the name of Jesus. Let there be a manifestation of your power, even as we appreciate you as we give back to you, as we worship you, as we praise you today, Lord, we pray, let there, be a test, let, there, let, let, let there be a manifestation of your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Let testimonies fill our hearts and our homes as a result of today's service in the name of Jesus. Even for those that are watching online also, we, we pray, we extend this to them, that there will be testimonies, testimonies we are bound as a result of the service of today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. We give you praise, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Almighty Father, once again, we are thanking you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for always being there for us, O Lord. We are saying thank you in the name of Jesus. For great things, for mighty things that you have done for us, O Lord, even in the past. Lord, we are saying thank you in the name of Jesus. Even for that which you are still going to do, Lord, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. As you have come here, Lord, we pray that you glorify yourself. And you will move in our midst in the name of Jesus. You, O oh God, that sees the innermost part of our hearts, O oh God, and you know that which we need indeed. Lord, we pray that you do for us in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we also use the time to commit our children onto your hands, even for those that will be resuming, even from the beginning of this week. Lord, we pray that your mercies will go with them in Jesus' name. You will protect them in the name of Jesus. Lord, the evil hand will not be, no evil hand will be able to touch them in the name of Jesus. You will hide them under your shadow in the name of Jesus. Even for the parents, Lord, we pray that you provide for them in Jesus' name. Thank you, precious Father. As we go on this service, we pray that you come to glorify yourself. Take all the glory, mighty God, for we are prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's have our seat, please. Jesus, I want to welcome us all one again to this wonderful Sunday in the mighty name of Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. 
please let us all listen to the following announcement. We thank God for bringing us to the fourth and last Sunday in the month of April 2022. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Surely it's not by our might, by our power, but by his mercy and grace. We shall always speak for us in the mighty name of Jesus. And today, the glory of his holy name also is our gratitude Sunday. Praise the Lord. Dedicated especially to just thanking him, praising him, blessing him, exalting his holy name. May we be blessed as we fellowship and celebrate in his presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Our weekly services hold as follows. Sunday service starts with Sunday school, please, by 8 a.m. Always come, let's study the word of God together. Digging deep on Tuesday and faith clinic on Thursday, 6 to 7 p.m. So that I can be here early and get back home in time. Just one hour to fellowship in his presence. We have the opportunity to during the giving deep to also contribute, or like during sermon, but during the digging deep, we all share and learn together at his feet. Also on Thursday, where we come with our heart by faith to receive from our Father, even as we pray together. Please, as many that have the grace, join us at these weekly services in the mighty name of Jesus. The theme for the month of May, as God is mercifully taking us to the month of May by next Sunday, is Spirit and Flesh. Bible says, taken from the book of Galatians 5.17. The minister for the month is A.P. Adenike Kolale Jacob. He is speaking to be supported by Brother Shum or tsunami in the technical department. So, per adventure, you need anything, how to fast, how to pray, if you need money, food, anything you need, please, feel free to see Brother Shew in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. If you are interested in enrolling for Bible College and School of Disciples program, I always say it is not strictly for pastors, workers, it's for everybody. That program is for everybody, right from young adults. You are free to attend the Bible College or School of Disciples. It's for us to grow in grace. Please see the pastor in charge after service. If you're interested, you'll be guided. Praise the Lord. Beaver class is a preparative class for believers and new converts who want to be baptized by immersion. So interested persons should please see our elder Deacon Samuel Lukbono at the technical department for enrollment. It's very important for us to also start believer class so that we can also grow in grace. Testimony time! Overcomers time! Ah, you are not talking like overcomers. You are not shouting like overcomers. I know I'm not, I'm not really a fan of all those red, blues, and all that, but I've seen on WhatsApp a lot of celebration on something that will not come to your pocket. But this one, when you praise God, when you thank him, when you watch, when you share your testimony, you are sure you're going to reward us. Let somebody shout hallelujah! The winning side, the shouting side, the shouting side, the winning side. We already have reason to shout in the mighty name of Jesus. Expressly, we want to have our testimony now, also special number. So if you have testimony to share with us this morning, or what the Lord has done, is doing your hand hope. Okay? Testimony. Special numbers. Timmy. Special number. Why? Or Samuel. Special number. <laughs> okay. That is your your special number. Praise. Want to use special number? Or come here. Special number. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's have the first testifier in the house, Sister Vittori. What the Lord has done, I will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord has done, I will sing hallelujah. I will sing hallelujah. I say for 
congregation to thank the Almighty God for his mercies upon my life. I want to thank God who helped me during that last week. There was reason for me to travel. So, though we are just doing double-minded, we are not sure of it, but later we have to make up our mind that I will travel. So, during the course of the traveling, it was really uh, tedious. I want to thank God who helped me to go to where I went and came back in peace. It was not easy. It was a very late traveling due to traffic and all that different things on the way. But I bless the name of the Lord. He overcame my fear and I came back safe and sound. I want to thank God for the, church, the members of the church. I want to say happy start to all of you. May the reason for the celebration never cease in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank Almighty God for my husband who helped him to take care of the kids. In fact, I know it's not easy, but God gave him the grace. I say may his name be highly exalted. Even my mom, this is an outstanding testimony. I believe that God will help me. I will give something for it. My mom told me something that God did for her. In fact, the other day I came here to testify of God's hand upon her life. But when I got home, this one she couldn't tell anyone. But it, it is during the course of our discussion, I have to ask, I persuaded that she didn't freely tell me this because it was a shock on her. But it was only the hand of God that saved her life. She went to a land to, uh, to cultivate. That is our land actually, but the other community are dragging that land. For many years ago, even during the course I was at home, there was no fight, though they have fought over the land and have settled it. But this time around, she was telling me that she went to that place, that same place that the same thing happened to her. So as she was trying to burn the bush, somebody, a young guy from the other side, shouted, who is doing that? You're already dead. You're already dead. Just watch now. You are dead. Who is, is he talking to my mom? An aged woman of 75 years. That you're already dead. She thought it was a joke. The, she was just pleading to the man. Sorry, sorry. Oh, please, oh, please, oh. Before she could knew it, the man came, grabbed her, and was trying to, you know, fling her this way, fling her this way, trying to fall her and collect the cutlass from her to kill her. So she was shouting, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So the other man from the other side shouted, leave her. This man is a married woman, leave her. She just married into this community. Leave her, don't kill her, don't kill her. The man now pushed her and beat her and said, just thank that man, oh. If not, you would have become a dead person by now that I wouldn't have pitied you. And God revealed this in the church on Sunday and she was called, she just came out, the Spirit of God said, come out and let the man of God pray for you. And on that Sunday, after the man of God prayed for her, it was on Monday that this thing happened. And I want to bless the name of the Lord, who rescued her, who did not allow the desire of the wicked to be accomplished upon her life. I say, may the name of the Lord be highly exalted. Even in the life of my mother-in-law, God has preserved her. So many challenges and attacks from here and there, but this woman is still strong and sound, working with her two legs. The devil did not want her to walk with her leg, but the Lord had been strengthening her and putting the enemy to shame. I say, may his name alone be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We thank God for that testimony. We bless the name of the Most High God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I also want to thank God for the birthday celebration throughout the month of April. My sister, special number. So is it testimony you have, sir? Special number. <laughs> oh, join. <laughs> okay, I've started my own. <laughs> so, I have to thank God for all the birthday celebration that came in the month of April that are still coming. Thank God Almighty. My two sisters-in-law added a year. My son also added a year. My mom, Obna, I always thank God 22 years ago for God changing my story. I give him praise, glory, and honor all the time in the mighty name of Jesus. Because somebody was just telling me last week that, ah, please, continue to join me in prayer. It's been 25 years since I married. And I look and say, I say, God, what a grace. 
I'm not doing anything better than this woman. And I'm believing God, the God that we serve, the God of redeemed Christian Church of God. We answer that woman that will come back here and share testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to thank you so much for I know this month of April, so many birthdays are still coming. And I know again, my family, the church, we hear the testimony. God will come for all the glory and success in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. That's your man, your place. Hallelujah. Amen. Mo gun la yo, mo son la yo, mo fi o go fo luwa, mo son la yo, baba mo dupe o, mo gun la yo, mo son la yo, mo fi o go fo luwa, mo son la yo, baba mo shokpe o, alleluia. I don't know how many songs I'm going to take. I hope the church will permit me. Oh, Lord, so that I want to keep on my knees. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, so that I want to keep on my I joined the service in 1997, and by His grace, I'm going out. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Our daddy is saying that he's thanking God for keeping him strength and safe, strong. Wonderfully, powerfully, with signs and wonders, he started working and is retiring by the special grace of God, not unto sickness, not unto any problem, but God that kept him, that took him to work, now is retiring to the glory of his holy name. We did not die in service. We are not holding a memorial service for him today. We thank God Almighty. Praise the Lord. It's like this. Amen. Number. Amen. And it's titled, Jesus, you are the only one I know. And, you know, I'm believing God for something. And I know that God is going to do it. Amen. He has done it before. And so, I'm seeing that thing again coming forth. I know that he's going to do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so, so, I'm giving this song to him in advance for what he has done already. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now only you I know even when the world 
no say so I go let them know everywhere I go even times when I fall you catch me you raise me you know to be me I don't know if any other best songs to sing for him in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet. Let's begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. There is none like our God. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega, beginning and the ending. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you because this is the day you have made in which we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We adore you. We yield ourselves to you. We yield the service to you. Holy Ghost, come and do what only you can do in Jesus Christ's mighty name. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. He saved me and washed me. Oh, the Lord has 
It is a time to show 
that truly God has shown love to us and we want to reciprocate by also showing love back towards the kingdom of God via our offering. So let us dip our hands into our pockets, our purses, our bags, and bring us something worthy to show our appreciation unto the Lord, to tell him that we appreciate his love. It is offering time. It is offering time. If you are in the house with your tithe, after dropping your offering, you come forward to come and drop your tithe as well. And if probably you have paid your tithe on, online, you can as well come forward so that the, can, the pastor can pray for us. Hallelujah. Choir, please. Jewel on us, worthy Lord. To be praised and adored. Jewel on us, worthy Lord. To be praised and adored. You'll be faithful, God. You'll be faithful, Lord. From the ages past. Father and our God, we praise you indeed, and that is why we have brought this before you this morning. Baba, please accept our praises in the name of Jesus. Lord God, this is our offering. Father, sanctify it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let this offering be used to the glory of your name. Amen. Father, Lord, we pray that as many, Lord, that you have assisted so that they can put something in this offering basket, we pray that you will reward us all immensely in the name of Jesus. Amen. Baba, I pray in the name that is above every other name that we shall not lack in Jesus' name. Amen. Baba, we shall not be found wanting in your house. In the mighty name of Jesus. If there is anyone for adventure among us, Lord, that wants to give this morning but find it difficult, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that next one shall be, we shall be given unto you, Lord, you will have blessed such and ourselves in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we pray that it shall be well with us, Amen. with our soul, body, and spirit. It shall be well with the church of God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Please, if you are in the house with your ties, you can come forward. Please. Thank you. Eternal Rock of Ages, we thank you for all you have done in our lives and the life of all your people. Thank you for the grace of obedience. Thank you for the source of their incomes. Thank you for every provisions. Father, according to your word and your commandments, they have come out 
to obey. Father, I pray thee, let your covenant of Titan and the blessing of Titan come to pass in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the source of all things. Father, I pray thee, let the source of their income never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone that are even paying their tithe, that the source that they are getting from now is not enough or they are not satisfied with it. Just as Elijah touched the source of the river in Jordan and you turn things around for the whole city. Father, let there be a turn around for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's 11 o'clock. My prayer for all of us is that in the day of your visitation, you will not be found missing. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we are sitting, let, we are going to pray. And tell the Almighty God it, that it is written that you will preserve my going out and my coming in. Tell God, Father, for the rest of this month, for the rest of this year, preserve my going out and my coming in together with my family members and loved ones. Let me not be part of the evil accident that the enemy is planning. Preserve my going out and coming in. Lord, I will not walk into the trap of any accident. You will guide my step. I write in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let me not walk in error. Father, please let me not walk in error. I will not walk into any accident. I will not be a partaker of any form of accident. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every accident that the enemy is planning, I and my loved ones will not be a partaker of it. No member of Hebron Scott will be a partaker of it. In the mighty name of Jesus. You have revealed it, Lord, for your purpose. And I pray thee, no member of Abraham Scott will be a part of it. In the mighty name of Jesus. We have lifted up your name this morning. We have praised you. We have given you glory, Lord. Because as the say, say, who will praise you if I die now? The way I used to praise you. Father, because we will still even praise you better than the way we are praising you now. Therefore, no member of Abraham's cause will be a partaker of this accident. No member of this church and our loved ones will be a partaker of this accident. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not walk in error. We will not walk into enemy's trap. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you because your promises are here and amen. Thank you because you have said it. Because it is written that you will preserve our going out and coming in. And so shall it be forevermore. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I don't know that person. But please. Yes, you have been going through. The trouble time is almost over. Stay firm. Don't compromise. Please don't compromise. 
you are almost out of the, that trouble. And God will uphold you and see you through. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, God reminded me something and I was laughing. He <laughs> said, why many people were not saved during the era of Noah was because of rain. <laughs> and I was just laughing when I was ministering that thing to my spirit. I pray that the day of our salvation, we will not miss it in Jesus' name. The Lord will guide and lead us aright. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Testimony time, special numbers. Anyone still has testimony? Anyone that still want to sing special number? Okay. Two. Special number. Testimony. Where should I start from? Who raised hand first? Huh? Who? You people have turned to a politician. Okay. Brother Vicent, I told you, we vote for you as chairman of Ojoduro. See, all of them are appointed to you. We vote for you. Praise the Lord. So, Brother Christian first. Sister Uju, second. You came late to church today. Sister Akimbayo, third. Who else? Let Jedediah come and represent you. So, Brother sent for. Praise the Lord. We are the second mic. Please give to Brother Christian. Praise God. I want to appreciate God for preserving my life and. Uh, I always count it a privilege because it is not by my works. Amen. Hallelujah. There are people that are better off in terms of wealth, in terms of, I mean, even devoted to the church, to God, but they are not alive today. So it's a great privilege and I will always be grateful. Adi gonye yiri chine ken keni gwe Adi gonye genji maya tu Nobu ya yiri ya Adi gonye yiri ya Adi gonye yiri ya ni mama Adi gonye yiri chine ken keni gwe Odi gonya geji maya tu nobu ya yiri ya Awu begi monye yiri chuku kigwe Awu begi monye yiri akane mema Obonye yiri chine kenke ligwe Odi gonya geji maya tu Nobu ya yiri ya Jehovah kam jefe Obu ya kam gachi lira kamelu Jehovah kam jefe Akane barandum Obu ya kam gachi lira kamelu Onye kam jefe Jehovah kam jefe Oki ba mane chendu mo nanugi kamgachi lira kamelu. May his name forever be praised in Jesus' name. You didn't interpret. Who can do as much as you are doing for me? You didn't interpret. I just cut some of the things, small, small. Okay. Amen. <laughs> uh, the first song says. 
There is no one to be compared with my God. Amen. Amen. And to him alone will I lift up my hands in appreciation. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for what he has done for my life and my family. Um, on the 10th of April was my younger brother's birthday. And on the 11th, he fell sick. It was serious. I got a message I was sick. I wanted to travel home. My dad said I should not bother that it's not serious. All of a sudden, it was so serious that we were scared that he would lose his life. So I had to even travel down home to see the condition, the state of things. And it was very serious. I thank God that now he's recovering. And although he's still in the hospital, but he's really recovering. I thank God for his life. I also thank God for my life because these past weeks, I traveled to three different states at a time. Like the same day, I traveled to three different states. I thank God for the journey mercy. Nothing bad happened to me. Although it was scary at some point because of the almost accident we had, but we thank God for a safe journey. May his name be praised forever. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The healing of your brother will be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm acknowledging you for who you are, for all you've done in my life. Oh, I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance Sakure, dance Sakure, Baba, Baba, oh, Baba, oh, Baba, Baba, me, oh, Baba, oh. Tony, you are a fear, Baba. Oh, to Pawala, he could, Baba. Oh, Baba. Oh, Lord, I'm acknowledging you for who you are, for all you've done in our lives. Oh, Lord, I'm acknowledging you for who you are, Dance Kibe. Dance, Akira, Baba. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul, for the grace to be alive today. And I want to thank God on behalf of my mother. She has gone back to Akira. She came to the girls and she has gone back. And she's supposed to travel to Nsuka to go and stay with my brother that just gave birth. But due to some reasons, she's still in Akira. So she said she wanted to buy some things and send to the my sister that just gave birth so that she can be taken. So she said she walked, she trekked, that the way Ondo State government did something that she cannot cross, that they put something, one pillar, so she walked. At the end, she, she now took a bike. That when she climbed the bike, she said on the bike, later she didn't tell me what happened. Though. So later she now told me ah, that she even thanked God though, that she fell down from bike. So... She now said, okay, the next time she goes there, she will ask the person, the people that attended to her. So she now said she went back there. They said she should be thanking God that she did not even fell down with her head. That she, she herself, she started feeling it. She started saying, I take over under the blood. The bike man was telling her, Grandma, hold me, but she was not hearing anything. She was already... So her head was going to the back at the end she, she landed on the floor so I want to return all the glory back to the Lord that she is alive she is ill and, and she is heady and I know that the Lord will preserve our lives and our lives in Jesus Christ mighty name we've given thanks put a part in Jesus name bravo Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate our Father for his faithfulness, for his loving kindness towards me and my family. These days, I just look, when I look around my activities, sometimes I will just say that it's like 24 hours is no longer enough for me to run around some of these activities that I have on ground. But I just thank God for how you have seen me through, at white, that wise in all my going and coming, he never allowed me to break down. I want to just surrender this song unto his to give you glory for that in Jesus' name. I will lift up my eyes to the heat 
Where's come in my head, Lord? My head come from the Lord. May never not yet. I will lift up my hands to the heat. Where's come in my head, Lord? My head come from the Lord. May never not yet. Oh. oh, oh. Come from the Lord God. It can make heaven at the end. Oh, 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 my head come from the Lord God. It can make heaven at the Lift up my eyes to the heat, where's coming my help, Lord? My head call from the Lord, may never not the end. I lift up my eyes to the heat, where's coming my help, Lord? My head call from the Lord, may never not the end. Let's rise on our feet. Is God we serve is more than able. Is the father of all fathers. Is the father that does not sleep. Is the father that does not slumber. Is the father that has all the power in heaven and on the earth. There is no one who can stand against him. There is no one who can battle with him. There is no one who can hinder him. When he promises, he brings it to pass. 
His promise is like a rain that comes down that will never return to the sky. He is the God of all gods. He is the Almighty, able to save and able to deliver in all situations. He can save from fiery furnace of fire. He can deliver from lion's den. He can take you through the Red Sea. He can hinder the enemy from cursing you. He hinder Balaam from cursing the children of Israel. And every effort that he made failed. Every effort of the enemy over your life, over your family. Because the covenant of light and the covenant of day and night can never be broken. Therefore, every attempt, every running up and down of the enemy about you, we always fail in the name of Jesus. The Lord that has kept you in peace will keep you in peace to the end of this year. No matter how much the enemy tried, no matter their numbers ganging up against you, no matter who is their priest making incantation on their behalf, carry sacrifices on their behalf. As long as they walk under the heavens that the Lord of heaven and the earth created, they shall always be stumbled because of you. They will fall because of you. They will be in confusion because of you. They will have regret because of you. And you we continue to sing in joy. You will continue to rejoice in testimony. You will continue to rejoice in peace. You will continue to rejoice in promotion. The Lord will continue to lift you. The Lord will be a banner over you. The fire of God will surround you as mountains surround Jerusalem. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. No evil hand or evil harm will touch you. Every tongue that rises in curses against you, those tongues are rebuked in the mighty name of Jesus. You will live in peace. You will sleep in peace. You will wake up in peace. You will go out in peace. And you will come in in peace. Your home will be in peace. Your work will be in peace. Because the Prince of Peace will be your shield. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your testimony will come alive. And people will gather to celebrate with you. Thank you almighty father. Glory be to your holy name. Because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Congratulations. I don't know the person, but very soon you will hear congratulations. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's share the grace and fellowship. It's our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Praise the Lord.
Joy! 